Have you ever wondered how to take a hand-drawn sketch and turn it into a 3D model for export? Well, let's talk about it in just a few minutes. So a buddy of mine just sent me a picture that he is wondering how he can take this a hand-drawn sketch and turn it into a 3D model uh, to export. So he actually wants to get this uh, laser cut. So here is the first picture that he sent me and you can see that the perspective is a little bit off. This is supposed to be a rectangular part. Uh, he's done a great job though. He sent me a, a picture with the, the ruler included, uh, which is great. But I asked him, is it possible to send me another picture? And this is uh, what he sent me after that. I said, try and take a picture as far away with the camera as possible, but still keep clarity in the picture and zoom in. And that's that way you can see here, uh, it's not the best quality, but it's good enough. And we can take this image and uh, make sure that we, we jot the spec. Um, and that's what we're gonna learn in this tutorial today. So let's get into it. The first thing we're going to do is let's insert canvas image. Here we can insert from our computer. We're gonna find that picture and then open it into our file. At this point, we are going to select a face that we'd like it to be placed on. So we're gonna just click on our XY plane here. And then we have our image that's set up in a canvas. And we can change all sorts of different things. Uh, these different types of uh, handles and everything, we can change the angle. If we want, we can change the size. Make sure to pick this uh, corner, a pull handle right there. If we take the other one, well, we can change a scale in Y, which we don't wanna do. We can change it in X, uh, which we don't wanna do as well. We wanna keep the, the same uh, scale. Um, and we can flip it if we want in either direction, but uh, this is great right there. So let's just keep it. Uh, as we have it right now, we're going to go OK. We can go to our top view. And this is an important aspect right here. We're going to go to the uh, canvas image. We're going to click on it and we're going to go calibrate. So what we're going to do is uh, we can go uh, in inches or in metric. Well, because we've got both of them here, I'm just going to select this part of the, the ruler and this part right there. And we're going to specify a dimension value. And of course, we could have done that with metric because this ruler has both. Well, there we have it. So now we're going to create ourselves a sketch on the XY plane as well. And we're going to, well, I'm gonna do a center point rectangle and let's just get basic size here. You can see that right now we're snapping to the grid. If we don't wanna do that on a Mac, we hold down command or control on Windows. And we're just going to put this approximately in the location that we want. And the command or control will help it so that uh, we won't snap to the grid. We can adjust things a little bit more. We're just gonna get this in the approximate location, which is great. Let's move that on over. Now let's apply some dimensions to it. And we're gonna press D for that. Let's see, oh, let's make sure to press escape first. And that gets rid of anything in the background. So 1.78, let's call this 1.8. And we're just gonna go with some, some nice, uh, round numbers we don't want any any type of too detailed we don't want to go with uh, dimension values that are too long but let's just uh, estimate here 4.9 inches like that there we go and uh, what we can do is in order to constrain this well we don't need to constrain it too too much right now but we're going to go to slot and we can pick center point slot again if we hover our mouse it will say select center which will assume that this is center We'll go to one direction here, and then we'll pull it down and go to the next right there. And we're gonna just call this 0.45. Can call it whatever dimension we want. And here again, oh, yeah, now we've got that. Now th at this point, this is probably where we would only use the fix unfix command. And we're just going to fix those four lines right there. Excellent. Now what we can do is we can rearrange the slot right here. In order to make the slot completely horizontal, we're gonna to go to the horizontal constraint, fix it right there, and now we can add a dimensional value to the inside. And it looks like the slot is a little bit big, so let's go 0.425, still a little bit too big. We're gonna go 0.4, and there we have it. Now for our arcs over here, uh, we might be tempted to go to the three-point arc. Uh, we could do that, but I find that selecting center diameter circle is a little bit easier to work with Let's just do that. We're going to put it into place and let's make sure that our arc or the circle fits right in there. And again, we can add a dimension to this right now. 
let's call this uh, 0.925. There we go. And in order to make it so that it is both centered on both sides right there, let's add 1.5 dimension to that. Now that's not good enough. 1.525. There we go. And we'll make sure that this is constrained to our center point right there as well. And we're going to just call this 1.07 inches. There we go. Now, if we want to make sure that this is symmetric to the other side, we're just going to draw a vertical line, press X to turn that into a construction at line. And then we can create a mirror image of this and our mirror line right there. And it should be in the approximate the same location. It doesn't look like it's right now. So we're going to add, we're going to try and balance this. And I'm sure in real life, he wants these arcs to be in the same position. So let's add 0.55 there, and maybe that's a little bit too much, 1.54. Perfect, there we go. So we've got our values, and at this point we can hide our sketch, and we've got our 3D model right here. So let's extrude it. And again, because we have these circles right there, when we pick our profile, we'll select our closed profile, and we can uh, go to whatever our thickness is. Let's just assume it's a quarter inch. There we have our part right there. So at this point, we might be wondering, well, what does he want? Does he want uh, the, the 3D file or does he want just the outer lines? Well, let's go to our bodies and we can select on body one and then go to save as mesh. And this will save it as an STL binary. And we can save it under millimeters or inches, whatever we want. Let's save it under millimeters, even though we designed it in inches. And we can go OK. And here we can just save it to our desktop. We can send him this file and he'll have the 3D STL file. Or what we can do is go to Sketches, Sketch 1, and this has all of the information in our sketch. We don't want to send that all to him. We just want what we see on our screen. Well, what do we do? We're going to create a new sketch and just select our face of our part. We're going to finish it right away. And remember, that inherits all of our information. I'll prove it to you by hiding our body. And there we have all of the geometry that is inherited when we've created a sketch we can just click on sketch 2 and we can save this as a dxf file so let's do that and we can call it johnny that's his name and we can call it dxf and save so now we've got an stl file and we've got a dxf that we can send to uh, whoever is going to cut this whether it's on a laser or a cnc or whatever the case we hope that you've benefited from this if you have please consider liking subscribing, sharing, putting a comment down below. And thanks again for tuning into the Learn It channel.